Hi everybody, welcome to episode 20. 20. Um, hope every mother and partner, who, however you celebrate last week, had yeah. a fantastic day. Jasmine and I went to the psychic medium again. Yeah, we talked about that last week. Yeah, but we didn't say... Oh, did we? Yeah, babe. Are you okay? Oh man, I'm so sorry. You're cooked. Yeah, I am cooked. Anyway, okay. how was your week been? It's a bit <laughs> shit, actually. Because, like, work was really busy. We had a family member, unfortunately, enter the hospital for some medical stuff, so that was a bit stressful. And I spilled hot chocolate all over our fucking MacBook. Oh, yeah, she had one of those wigs. And I was like, I actually am fucking done. Like, I was ready to just be like, I'm going to crawl in a hole and just cry a little bit. Oh. It was not good. Very hormonal as well, so it's just like, this is really not helping. How lucky are we in this house? The household, actually... The household probably hasn't suffered. Joel definitely has Well, because he, he, we, me and Uncle Big Daddy Day, Uncle, mm-hmm. we live downstairs, so we don't we miss half of that that goes on. Yeah. Thank God, because I had enough through the teenage years. Yeah. So it's his turn. He decided to marry it. Damn ass. Damn it. Marry it. <laughs> marry it. So, um, yeah. But I finished the week on a high because we had our dear friends Kirby and Nathan visit from the Sunshine Coast. Um, and they own a wedding venue. So they're the wedding venue they've actually built on their property. It's called Carrington Estate. It's absolutely stunning. You have to put a link up. Yeah, share sure. it. Yeah. You get married. Think about this venue. And they are just so amazing. They just kind of, you get like a lot of free reign to really just make the day your own there. Like they don't have a lot of like, you, can't, good. you can't do that. So, um, yeah, they're just incredible. So we went to a comedy show. Last night um, at Hoda and now is it Hoda or Hotter? People, I've heard people say both. Oh mate, which is stupid. such a such a big thing here on the Joe Sue about it. So no. um, yeah, we went to they have this thing called Comedy Underground, and you don't know who the comedy like who's going to be on stage, but there's three acts and a headline, and you pay it's like thirty dollars a ticket, and you go down to like the basement room at, at Hoda, and it was great. We absolutely pissed ourselves laughing. Then we went out to dinner, and then we went to the casino, played some roulette. I won one hundred and thirty-five dollars. She's just telling you her life. Um, so blow by blow. it was good. Like I, it ended on like my week was shit, but it ended really well because I like you know had a really good weekend with friends. So excellent. Yeah. Well, me and Big Daddy Dave, we had a jam-packed weekend. What? You guys bought a heated blanket. <laughs> <laughs> we got so cold because we think we're going through like another little um, cold snap. So <laughs> we went to Pillow Talk and got an electric blanket. Yeah, I want it. Could, could, we've never owned one because wherever we've lived, it's not been that cold enough yeah. to have it. But I suppose when you get older, your whole body just aches. I just so feel like you feel the cold a bit more as well. Um, we enjoyed a beautiful sleep last night, and it's multifunction. So Big Daddy Dave can have he- as much heat as he likes on his side, whether he wants the top half or the bottom half or his whole body, and I can do the same. So I love that feature because I feel like I would want it on, on longer than Joel. Yeah. And then well, so the fact that you can just split it in half. He did. I only had it on for an hour, and he had it on for two. So good. So it was good. And because last time it, we had a cost, I got me new slip slips from oh, yeah. UGG. From UGG. Yeah. Locally made. Mm. Locally made in their warehouse right there. Yeah. So, yeah. And so I've got them on today. They are a bit cute. Um, so, yeah. I haven't been doing much. Big day day at work today. We caught up with some family on Friday. Oh, yeah. We had, like, a family, like, catch up. Mm. My little niece is due to have her bubba in about four weeks. Oh my god, I'm counting down. I'm so excited. So, yeah. And Big Daddy Dave's already instructed me that he will be having the first hold of the baby. Because this niece is his favourite niece. And her sister is my favourite niece. So, you know, this whole thing going on. Mm. So, yeah, he's already instructed me. Because Big Daddy Dave... We believe he's secretly a he's little bit secretly clucky, clucky for but he baby. does love that new baby smell. Yeah, I love and that. that sounds weird, but he loves to sniff they their smell heads. smells so good. Yeah. And they're so squishy. So I'm yes. excited. I, and it's been a really long time since we've had a baby in the family. Oh, gotcha. So I'm like just mm. excited because that baby's going to be so spoiled. Yeah. I'm very keen. Um, so yeah, that was kind of like, and I had a busy week at work as we all do, you know. Yeah. Nothing so, new there. Um, but yeah. 
Um, so... We're going to chat about cheating today. So, you guys would have remembered that we... Uh, Jan put a poll out about... Um, it was like a week ago. Yeah. Asking questions like, is this cheating or is this... Does this constitute cheating or it doesn't? Yeah. And it was really surprising. So, I mean, it we're going to go so through a few of them. Because I reckon some of them you'll be like, what the hell? Because yeah. I was. I was or like, maybe you'll be like, that's fucking cheating. That's like, cheating. Whereas I go, no, it's not. Yeah. Well, we I just, could even have a difference of opinion. We don't know yet. We don't. But mm. I, what I, I just found, like, as the results were coming through, I was like, oh, my God. Like, this is – this." it was a really interesting little, like, social experiment yeah. to see – what yeah what people count it's just bizarre i find it bizarre it was interesting so do you want to go ready to go through yeah i've got them in front of me too okay Um, but you go i'll go first okay so is cheating is it cheating if someone kisses you on the cheek i would say no i would say no 85 percent said no and 15 percent said yes so you 15 percenters i don't know what's going on in your head well you've clearly never been to europe or you're very jealous yeah because like i kiss like everyone on the cheek. Well, I met my nieces, my favourite niece, her new boyfriend on yeah. Friday. It was a surprise. She didn't know we were coming over, so she was quite Hilarious. shocked. Because not everyone's met him yet. And it wasn't a kiss on the cheek, but he went to handshake. I said, no, 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 we hug. We hug. Oh, we're huggers. <laughs> and he was actually, he was okay with that. Yeah. And my niece was like, oh, my God, auntie. I kiss everyone on the cheek all the time. Yeah. I, like, I, I'm a big Well, especially hugger. when we uh, haven't seen someone for a while. Yeah. Why? I do find that you, you tend to, like, want to, yeah, go in for that hug or go in for that kiss on the cheek or whatever. I just like, think oh. it's really jealous people that can't handle that. Yeah. What about if someone kisses you on the lips? Well, okay, so people, there was more of a yes for this one, obviously. So 67% said yes. And 33% said no. Yeah, so I still feel like there's a bit of confliction there. Well, cheek to lip is very different. For different people, I feel like it would be. Yes. Yeah. I ain't kissing my um, relatives on the lips. No, don't do the relative lip um, thing. If I'm meeting someone new, it's never on the lip. I don't, I'm trying to think of when I would kiss somebody on the lip. I mean, I definitely... Does you're my daughter, we don't lip kiss. No, we don't lip kiss. So this is what I'm saying. To me, the lip is a more intimate... With... I've definitely gotten drunk and kissed my girlfriend, so... That's different. You're, Wait, that's what I'm saying. You're, inhi- you're uninhibited because you're you're drinking. It's flirt- I suppose you would think it would be flirtations with your girlfriends. With my girlfriends, yeah. But you're not doing it with your boy, boys that are friends. No, I don't think so. I mean, you and Maxie, okay? Your cousin. You's like, get on it. Have you ever lip kissed your cousin? No. See, this is what I mean. Yeah. I, for me, no, I reckon. (laughs) Yeah, we're kissing cousin fun. Kissing cousin. Hey, it happens. First cousins. Mm. Back in the day, first cousins used to marry. Yeah, that's weird. So, but, for me, the lip is more intimate. So, I would say, I'm not saying it's cheating. I would just say it's weird. Yeah, I would not say it's cheating. But that's um, exactly. I, I yeah. just think it's weird. Yeah, I would not say it's cheating. I feel like maybe it would be circumstantial. Like if I saw Joel kiss someone on the lips, that I was like, um, "What are you doing?" That that maybe I wasn't like, I didn't think you and this person had that kind of relationship. Yeah. And it would depend on the relationship that I had with that person as well. Yeah. You know. Now this next one, I'm really confused with because. Oh yeah, what the fuck? Okay, so is cheating? Is it cheating if you were have a work wife husband? Now, what we mean by that is, mm. I've had a lot of them over the years. I've got multiple. So, when I first started where I'm working, this, me and this other guy, we went, we were inducted at the same time, we were training, mm. we sat, he was my work husband. Mm. He was gay, but he was still my work husband. Yeah. Um, I had a work wife. Like, yeah. I've had multiple. Yeah. It is not cheating. Like, what was it? 73% said yes it's cheating yeah. 27 said no yeah. so please make me understand me do you think it's the actual wife like what am i trying to say do you think it's not like you and joel that's husband and wife yeah it's not that type of relationship it's just uh they're your go-to when everything is getting so hard at work yeah or even Be bounce stuff life. off it's just your person it's just to bounce stuff off i don't think you're there telling them all your intimate stuff 
No, but I think like we spend more time at work than we do at home. Oh gosh. Right? Yes. And so I think sometimes I feel like people think that because you've got you're confiding in someone about like emotionally, whether that be work or personal life, no. that maybe there's like an emotional like no. line that's being crossed because you're like I don't know, do you get what I mean? Yeah, like, I do. It's like but to me, but it's I, like, I'm like, you're bouncing off, hey, help me, or give me, yeah. what do you reckon? I don't think it's cheating. Joel, Use a, I'm sorry, you just walked. It yeah, that's weird. I don't think it's cheating either. Um, Joel also has this funny fucking thing that he's like, I have, I have many work husbands. Yeah. I have friends that are male. Yeah. I have a lot of them. He also has a lot of friends that are female. Yeah. That I would never, ever in a million years be like jealous about any of the dynamics, and neither would he. But he's like, <laughs> you um, you like to collect lost boys. He's like, you like to collect... Oh, yeah, she does do that. But people that you like to fix. In, and a, like, in a way, so she kind of, like, is taken over from me. Because I kind of, like, did that. You did that. Um, kind of thing. Yeah. So she's probably... I've handed her the torch. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. And, and I, I don't know why it is. That. I think it's because when you see somebody, like, struggling... I don't know, I still do. If I see someone struggling or whatever, I just yeah. want to help them. Like, yeah, I think as I well think as that's like, just like, I, I being a nice p- human being. Yeah, or even like, I see the potential in someone and I'm like, you yeah. can do oh, so yeah. much. Like, And, and I'm going to be that like, person to yeah. push you, whether you like yeah. or not really. But All right. So no, I don't think that's cheating. Okay, what about this one? Um, you're dating at, so is it cheating if you keep your dating apps and swipe through them when you're bored, but not message anyone? I would say yes. Well, 81% said yes and 19% no. Me? I say yes. Why, why have, you got it? have you got them on there? And why are you swiping through them? It doesn't matter if you're messaging them. To me, you're shopping. You're, you're shopping. You're window shopping. It's window shopping. You're shopping. <laughs> so, I don't know what's going on with you, 90% people. And, like, yeah, I just don't understand the need to keep it if you are in a relationship. Like, that tells me that, like, okay, you're committing to this well, person. Like, that why? tells me if you've still got them. You're not in it. You're not in your relationship or you kind of think, oh, this is not working. Anyway. The next one I find super interesting because I feel like it's more of a modern day issue. One, yeah. Okay. Compared to like maybe something that you would have had to navigate in the past (coughs) relationships. So is it cheating if you like someone else's social media post? Now, 93% said no. Mm -hmm. 7% said yes. Yeah. So what did you say? I said no. Yeah, I said no too. Um, but I know that there are people out there that will... They're jealous. They will be like, oh my God, he, he liked her Instagram post. Like, I bet you he's sliding into his DMs. And like, why are you liking other girls' Instagram posts? You shouldn't be like... I yeah, you're talking like, from a girl perspective. Yeah. Have you ever heard a man? I have, have never ever? heard yes. a man complain about Why that? girls? Why are we being so Can we just calm down? secure? Can we calm down? We are strong women. Like, wake up. We are young. Yeah. When well, we wake up, um, I don't. I don't get that. I. But I know that's an actual issue in modern relationships. Like, I a hundred percent know it. And is. I don't understand. I get it. This one, I don't understand. Well, I don't know. It, is it cheating if you casually flirt with a service worker? Example: the barista. Eighty-two <laughs> percent no. Eighteen percent said yes. What's wrong with having a bit of flirt? I love flirting. A little flirt. <laughs> I fucking love it. So Well, when I was younger, I did too. But it, having a little flirt keeps that like, okay, I don't know. It's nice to be wanted. Yes, and it's a bit of a little confidence like yeah. pal at you. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I don't find it cheating at all. No. If you are following through and asking this person out on a date yeah. and meeting up with them, that's a different story. Yeah. But flirting as he's making your coffee, whatever. Yeah, who the fuck cares? Who I, cares? Which we'll talk about another one later, but we'll we'll kind of hone in on this one because there's another one later on that we're like, well, oh, okay, so it's me, fine. I can find the other one. Do, do you know which one it is? It is, um, oh, I did have it. The Stranger at the Bar? Yeah, one? where is it? It's at the very bottom. At the very bottom of the next page. Okay, so is, is it cheating if you buy a stranger a drink at the bar? Now, 90% said no, and 10% said yes. So it's fine to buy people drinks, but flirting so, with people that make you the drinks is not fine. No. What the fuck does that even mean? That doesn't even make sense. I don't know. Anyway, guys, get it right. It's weird. 
So, is it cheating if you have someone for a little too long? No. No, because you know what? Like sometimes when someone's upset, and it could be a boy mm. or a man that you know that's upset, that you know, and you go, like, something's yeah. happened. Yeah. And that's just, it's like a secure hug. Yeah. I think. I think. 100%. Mm. No problem with that. No, no dramas. Um, what, are, what are the people saying? 93% said no, and 7% said yes. Seven, you got to get going. So is it cheating if you share a bed with someone else but don't do anything sexual? Now, 56% said yes and 44% said no. Mm. Your thoughts? What were you? I don't think it's cheating. I don't think it's cheating. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I, like, again, it would probably fall into the category of depends who it is because there are, like, friends that Joel has, like I said, that are of the opposite sex that... If they shared a bed or a tent or something together, I'd okay. be like, no fucking drama stuff. So it just depends. I think it, it would depend, depend on the person. All right. Is it cheating if you share a bed with some... Oh, no, I just did that one. Less. Is it cheating if you send someone else revealing photos? 95% yes, 5% said no. What is going on with the 5 percenters? Of course it is. You do not send <laughs> someone a revealing photo of yourself. I'm so. Don't tell me you're no, the, no, no, no. Are I'm you not, no? I'm, no, I'm not. I would, Jesus. No. Tell me what are you doing? I would say yes, it's cheating. Yeah. I'm just loving your reaction. It's so funny <gasps> because <laughs> you're just like this what? is you at the camera. What are you doing? <laughs> no, seriously, like. Yeah. They must be the you. That must be the group that are really. Um. What am I trying to say? They must be ones that really open relationships, which is fine. Like that's fine, but that's, that's I'm not into that. Open relationships. I don't, no, I don't understand it. Really? And that's okay. We're all different. No, I'm just like that's fine. That's your opinion. I think that like the older I've gotten, the my understanding of the dynamics of a relationship have like continued to evolve, and I think that like polyamory is is getting so much more popular in society these days. Because I feel like sometimes it's unrealistic to think that one person can fulfill all of the needs you I understand have. that. I understand does that make that. sense? Yes, it does. But it's just not for me. No, it's not for you. That's fine. That's and for you. if it's for you, that's okay. Mm. Oh, whatever. I just think whatever. like if I if I fast if I like went back in time ten years ago, I'd be like, what the fuck? But now, like having lived in the world a little bit for to what yeah, yeah. five minutes, I'm like, oh yeah, you yeah, know what? I can minutes. see it. Okay. Okay. So, next. is it cheating if you flirt for your advantage, example, to get free drinks? Seventy-seven percent said no. Twenty-three percent said yes. Again, so flirting with the barista, people. I know. People well, said I don't yes, understand you. But guys. if you can flirt to get free drinks, it's fine. I don't understand. I don't understand. If someone wants to buy you a drink, because you've just had a bit of a hey ha, and you smiled at them, whatever. Do you remember that time in a casino that? those two guys started flirting with me at the bar and I was with you. And they were like, what are you girls out for tonight? And I was like, oh, we're with our husbands. And Joel and dad were over oh, yes. at the table. Yes. And even after we were both said we're married, they still bought us a drink and they still came over and met Joel and then still continued to flirt with me in front of Joel. And I was like, are Mom, you stupid? And now she's saying just flirt with her. Just flirt with me. <laughs> Babe, they were in how, their 20s. How does she know? <laughs> that? They didn't really want some of this mama. <laughs> they did. They wanted you, doll. No, you said it all. I just... Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, but it is. It's like, I think... I think for some people, being married is no barrier. Like, people if don't you said, see it as a barrier. If you anymore. said it, like, years and years ago, like, it'd be... they just step away and that's it. Yeah. But these days, it's just... But the divorce rate's too high, doll. They still think they've got it in. <laughs> they just... They do. They just think... Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. I don't think it's flirting. I don't think it's flirting if you're getting free drinks. We've all done it. Mm. All right. What if, if you're um, a study partner with someone you're attracted to? 76% said no mm. and 24% said yes. What You're just studying. I found that one interesting. What, do you think it is? I don't think it is. Let me on. Because I think, like, it's natural to be attracted to people. Like, it, just because you're in a relationship. It's if you act on it. That's right. It's like what you do with how you're feeling. That yeah. is the difference. But... I feel like just because you're in a relationship with someone doesn't mean you all of your other senses to everyone else in the world just turn off and you mm. can't like be attracted to them. Well, you can't tell me that 
a man is not looking like what am I trying to say? Yeah. They're, everyone's looking like, at each everyone's other. Everyone's looking. We're all checking each other like, out. It's not even a thing. Like, I don't know, like, hey, big dad, dad, check out her boobies. They're big. Yeah. And 100%. then, you know, I don't know. I just, each in their own, I suppose. What have we got next? Um, we've got, so is it cheating if you hook up with someone else while you are on a break? Okay. Now. I put this one in because of let, friends. Six, the TV show. Well, let me give you the percentages. Okay. Yeah, the friend. Remember, if... if Friends, everyone knows that episode. Yeah. So sixty nine percent said no, and thirty one percent said yes. I'm sorry, but if you're on a break, you can do whatever you goddamn will like. You can fuck till the cows come home. That is, you are. We were on a break. That's like I can't stop thinking about Ross being. I like, don't understand on these ones that oh, I want a time to myself. I don't want to be with you. But I don't but want you to be. I want else. these are the expectations of me not wanting to be with you. You can't do this. Is that's bullshit. It's fucking stupid. You can't put that on somebody, another human being. That's crap. Mm. Yeah. You're either in it or you're out of it. Yeah. Not halfway. Is it cheating if you have sex with someone else? Hello. 100% said yes. I was quite happy with that unanimous decision <laughs> because I felt like if we got any, well, we got any no's... Like hang on. Confused. So let's think about this. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, Is it cheating if you go to a nude beach without your partner? 86% said no, and 14% said yes. What do you say to that? Well, I don't go to a nude beach. I've never been to a nude beach. Um, I don't really care. Yeah. Because it's public. It's out in the public, really. Yeah. I, I don't think it's cheating. Whatever. Like, you're not going to do anything, because if you go and try and touch someone, it's like all hell would break loose, I would imagine, yeah. at a nude beach. Yeah. Because yeah, then no, you've got I'm, those ones that regularly go. Yeah. So I'm just like, And you know oh, what? Yeah. The one time I tried to go to a new beach, it was just old men everywhere. They are. And I was like, old, you know what? I'm good. It's an older generation type. <laughs> it is an older generation type yeah. thing. Um, we can, we yeah. can find one that has like young, hot men. I'll go oh to that. Oh my God. You're getting too old. So <gasps> is it cheating? I'm getting too old? <laughs> <laughs> Is it cheating if you're having an online relationship with someone, but they haven't met in person? 91% said yes, and 9% said no. It is definitely cheating. Mm. Yeah, I agree. It would be cheating. Because you're getting emotionally involved. Yeah, yeah. There's an, regardless of, like, a com like the physical component, there's definitely, yeah, like, there's an emotion. emotion. Yeah, and, totally. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Totally. Is it cheating if you're... <laughs> is it cheating if you watch porn? 95% said no, and 5% said yes. Who the fuck is that 5%? I want to know who the 5% are too. Me too. What's wrong with watching a bit of porn? What are you like, What are you using to, um, like, do you just use your own thoughts? If you're not watching porn, what are you doing? Do you get know what I mean? Like, are you just using your own brain? To, and if so, what, who are you thinking about? Well, this is what I mean, like... You know, because anyone know. outside of your partner then would technically, if, like, you know... Yeah. Does that make any fucking I, sense? The 5%, you need to tell us why you think it is. I think you're on drugs. Mm. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Like, she's just taking that too far. Well, a couple... I'm just saying. Yeah. You just need to let us know, like, why you think it is. Well... Because it's just porn. If we skip to the um, OnlyFans and the Cam Girl question, which is, like, towards the bottom, let's chat about that because it's similar to porn. It's not quite... So... Is it cheating if you interact with a cam girl guy person? 69% said yes and 31% said no. Now, this is different. Okay, because a cam girl is doing it live in her room. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's not a whole film production mm. making. Porn's got a storyline. Yeah, I love okay. a storyline. I love a good porn storyline. <laughs> Now, Do you give me cam, the pizza delivery guy? A cam girl is, she's doing it live. You can interact with her yep. live. You can get emotionally involved because it's live. Yeah. To, yeah, so I would agree that it is. And I think as well, like... Well, 69% said yes. The, the cam girl thing as well, like, you have to pay money. Yeah. Uh, like, so, I think... Well, porn, you still got to pay for it to buy it. Yeah, but, but you don't. It's fucking porn. It's free. Well, I know. I'm just saying, well, back in our day. Yeah, you didn't buy. have to pay for But it. I'm just saying, it is cheating because you can, it's live. You can tell her, do this, do this. 
Okay, so you're saying it's cheating because of the interaction aspect. Yes. And I am agreeing with that, but I'm also adding on the money. Like, you're paying money. Yeah. I don't know why that annoys me that much more, but it does. And the other one was about, is it cheating if you subscribe to someone's OnlyFans? Yeah. So 55% said no, and 45% said yes. Mm. Now, is OnlyFans is not live stuff. It's like them putting you porn can, up. Yeah, but you okay. can um, message them to request um, like oh. unique content. So if you're like, I want you... like. If you know, I don't know, I want you to have sex yeah, on the Yeah, that is and... like, no, thank you, man. And again, there's an, there's the monetary Element, aspect. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, totally agree. So, so then... Um, like, for me, when it comes to the, the cam girl and the OnlyFans stuff, like, it's the yeah. money thing, but it's also the fact that you can go back to that same person. Yeah. Where I feel like just watching free porn, I don't know. There's something about the money porn I Porn like. is not cheating. Only fans and cam girl guy is cheating. I'm telling you now. <laughs> Even though so, it is both porn, I know it would make no sense, but I don't know, something I, about it. Is it cheating if you message someone on social media in a non-sexual way? 98% said yes and 2% said no. Again, I feel like this is the modern um, impact coming through here. Because it's like, all right, well, if you're messaging someone that... But you mean, is the messaging what they call sliding into the DMs? Okay, so, so if this is where like it gets a little bit grey for me. I think it, would, it comes down to intention. So, like, yeah. if you're sliding into someone's DMs because you're like, oh, my God, they're hot and I want to talk to them and I want to fuck them or I want to well, do that's that, cheating. then that's cheating. I feel like if you're sliding into their DMs, say, like, I don't know, after being introduced to mutual friends and you guys had similar interests and you were just oh. talking to them as a friend... That's I don't think it's cheating, yeah, but a different. lot of people would think yeah. that's cheating. Okay. So, that's okay. Is it cheating if you hang out with your ex in public? 69% said no, 31% said yes. Why would you want to be hanging out with your ex? He's, mm. They're an ex for a reason, unless it was an amicable split and you're still, like, somewhat friends. Yeah. I don't think it's cheating. I don't actually think there'd be a single ex that I have that I'd want to see. Yeah, I know. Yet. I know, so, but there are some people that still remain, like... Like friends. Friends, but I don't yeah. think it's cheating. I don't think it's cheating. Is it cheating if you give someone else a massage when it's not your job? 63% said yes. 37% said no. Um, mm. I think, yeah. I'm saying yes. Massage can turn into quite an intimate connection yeah. but if it was your job if you if, if that was your professional mistress, job and you go hey i'll give you one i'll be like oh okay yeah cool cool but if you're not and you're saying to me i'm just trying to think of the scenario where i would have to mess massage well, someone this, yeah that's what, I'm, what saying. I'm saying it's cheating just like, actually, i can't figure out it's just someone trying to be dog and get into you Get in there, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Okay. Um, is it cheating if you tell someone you'd hook up with them if you were single? 51% said yes and 49% said no. Is it cheating to tell someone you'd hook up if you're single? So it's kind of like, I don't know, we met at, let's say we met at a bar. You're telling them. And you're like, oh my God, you know what? If I wasn't married, I'd fuck you. Mm. Like, so some, that's... I don't know. It depends I, on the context of it all. I personally don't think it's cheating. Am I like, yeah, go ahead and do it? No. But I don't think it would be cheating. Because I feel like I already, I would have already a list in my head of people that I'd be like, oh, I'd, fuck, I'd fuck that person. Mm. If I wasn't married, I'd be fucking that one. Well, I suppose we've all got our list in our head, but do we saying. actually yell it out? Don't no, think so. No, we don't. Is it cheating if you have someone for a long time? A little too... Did I already have that you one? You already have that one. That was my bad. Maybe I wrote that twice. Yeah, um, I did. <laughs> oh, I have. Yeah, there's a couple here. Well, um, okay. Hang on, people. Oh, the, can we the VR one? Can we do that Jasmine one? Jasmine is like, hang on. Where's the VR one? Fourth from the bottom. <sighs> Fourth from... Oh, okay. Is it cheating if you hook up with someone in a VR game? Oh, that's the virtuality game. Yeah. So 61% said no and 39% said yes. I find this interesting only because, like, with technological advances, VR, like, you can go into, like, you can get these suits, right, Mum, that 
if someone touches you in the game, you can feel it. That's cheating. <laughs> like, and it's like shit is graphic in mm. VR. Yeah. And you you obviously be talking to someone as yeah. well at the same time, so I feel like there'd be like a phone sex sort of aspect yeah. to it. All right, what about this one? Mm. Um, is it cheating if you hold hands with someone else? Fifty percent said yes, and fifty percent said no. I hold hands with everyone, so I mm. don't think it's cheating. Never held hands with Joel. <laughs> If we're walking along and we touch, we're like, hey, get away from yeah, me. Get the fuck away. Um, yeah, I don't... I think girls are different. I don't know. I, I like I have held hands with my male friends. Mm, I don't know. I don't no, think Joel. it's cheating. I think it's cheating. Um, what about if you dance with someone else in a club? 86% said no and 14% said yes. I don't think it's cheating. It's not cheating. You're on a dance floor. The dance floor's probably like chockers. And you like, sometimes you like, you're boogieing and you're smiling. <laughs> Is that how you and then you And then you end up, like, I don't think it's cheating, guys. That's I don't think it's stupid. cheating either. Um, no. Have a boogie. Have a grind. It's fine. All right. How about, this might be the last one. Yeah. Is it cheating if you fall in love with someone else but don't act on it? 60% said yes and 40% said no. I don't think it's cheating. I don't think it's cheating. Um... Because obviously, if you're not acting on it, you're in your committed relationship, mm. um, and you're human, I suppose. Yeah. And you can fall in love with other people. You can. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're your soulmate. Yeah. Or you're right or die. Yeah. I love that you use that in the right context, babe. High five. You young thing. Look at you go. <laughs> I'm not that old. I know you're not. But I, I don't think it's cheating. I think, no. like, you can't help your emotions. Like, or you can't turn those things off, unfortunately. And, like, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. And, it's like, exactly right. It, you know, if if you aren't in an re open relationship and you act on it, then it's not, like, that's cheating. Mm. But if you're in an open relationship and that's, like, not a boundary that you and your partner have set in place and, like, you're like, yep, I'm going to go and also be in love with that person as well or whatever, then that's fine. Like, mm. but I don't, I don't think she... No, me either. Interesting. So, I don't know. I just, I found that little experiment very interesting. Guys, the barista. The barista. Don't flirt with your barista, but you can get But you'll drinks. accept free drinks. For flirting. For flirting. Mm. I don't think you've thought about that one, guys. No. Or maybe they had a change of heart halfway through and they were like, oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. Better write yes to this one. <laughs> and you know what? If you're doing something and you get that overwhelming feeling of feeling of oh my god, I don't want to get caught, then obviously then it's I your body like telling you yeah. that you're cheating. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Or like the whole okay, well, it put put yourself in your partner's shoes. Like if if you heard your partner was doing this specific thing, would, would you, you like? Would you like it? Yeah. Would you be upset by it? Yeah. Like, all that sort of stuff. But anyway. <laughs> Oh my god, so funny. So don't like any boys' posts on Instagram because it's cheating, babe. Oh <laughs> god. Um, okay, so I've got the shit show today. She does. She does. I've actually smushed two because oh. there was two that was like really similar and I was like, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna she doing wrap that. it in one. Um, I just feel like if I can tick off multiple things at once, then like why not? We can help multiple people at one time. Oh, look at us go. That's helping a lot. I don't even know if we help anyone, but you know. I don't think we fucking do either. But I, I, I think that. Nobody it's, writes in to say, you helped me so much. Blah, blah, blah. I think it's the fact that we try. We're getting an A for effort, is what. I think it's the fact that you just like hearing us spill the shit out of our mouths. Yeah, could be that. Like, could be that. Okay, this is our bonding day, Sundays. It is. We like yeah. Sundays. All right, give it the Okay, story. so I'll read both of them out. And then cool. we'll chat about both of them. So, number one, should I stay in a relationship because it's not that bad? Question mark. I've been with my girlfriend for nearly seven years, and it's not great, but it's also not shit either. One, we tend to argue quite a bit, and there are times where I think maybe the bad times are outweighing the good. Two, there are things, a few things we don't necessarily align on, but our biggest one is children. She's 100% on having children, and I'm... I understand that I'm not on the same biological clock as her, but I'm, I don't know if I'm like 100% in the kids' team. 
three. We have been together for so long, so there's also a part of me that thinks we've made it this far, why should we just give up all this time? But then there's also a part of me that's confused as to why I don't feel the urge to propose to her. So that's shit show number one. So it's a lot. Oh my God. Shit show number two is just short and sweet. If my partner doesn't meet me emotionally, should I wait it out or call it? So the last one is an easy fix. You need to talk to them about it. <laughs> That's Mum, you need to communicate. Well you need to tell them you're not uh, you're not meeting my emotional needs. What I and figure let me change. Go. And let figure me. figure out what that is and what that looks like. Because it, it could either lead two ways. One, it's not working and you separate. Mm -hmm. Or two, you just get on the same page and this person starts meeting your emotional needs. Yeah. The other one Oh my god! Let's turn pack it the other. No, way. but the other one. If you're if you're saying the first seven years was not good, mm. and you want to stick it out for the rest of the lifetime, stop doing that. I feel like it was just gonna get worse. Yeah. Can you think about like what the next like, seven years will look like? That's if you are questioning everything, yeah, you gotta. I, I reckon have a look at what the next twelve months would look like. Yeah. Don't leave it for another seven years. Yeah. But again, there has to be a reason why it's only good. Like, mm. some of it's good, some of it's bad. Like, well, what's the bad stuff? Yeah. Can't you work on the bad stuff to bring it up to good and then work on the good to be great? Look at you go. We're good at going through the levels together, well, people. I'm just saying, like, you'd have the old saying, life's too short. Well, it is. It is fucking short. And it depends. If you don't want to go through the hard slog of a separation... Like, I uh, yeah. You know, like separating builds you. Like it breaks you down a build, and then you build yeah. up. But you build up to better. And there's nothing like a post breakup blow up. There's like, it, it and then you start, you evaluate your whole life. Then yeah, everything gets evaluated. And then you put on the chopping block. And then you might find something and else you that <laughs> you purge. You need to purge. Mm. Like. I just don't think you wait another seven years or you wait in that, the rest of the lifetime to see if it's going to get any better. Yeah. Because, and you're not even like, yes, there's the whole biological clock thing, blah, blah, blah. Mm. But you don't stay with someone until you think you're ready to have a kid or to yeah. be on the same page as them. I, I, I don't know. There's just too many points. Run for the hills. So I'll, I'm going to start with the small one first. So I agree, they definitely need to communicate to kind of work out like what emotional needs aren't being met. Mm. Um, I also find it interesting that it's the emotional needs that aren't being met because like nine times out of 10, it's I find physical. it's the physical. So that tells me like maybe they're fucking real well, but like cannot communicate or like whatever it is that the needs are like, you know, being emotionally met. Sometimes if you're if you're a bad communicator that can have a huge impact. Yeah. And maybe that person just needs some time to work on their communication skills. Yeah. I think And you can you can work on that and that can get better. Yeah. But if they don't know that they don't communicate well, how are they ever gonna know that it affects you? Or like, even that those needs aren't being met for you. Like if you haven't communicated that to them to say, you know what, like that all the other aspects of our relationship, like I'm loving, but there's just this part that I feel like we need to work on. Yeah. And there's not like there's nothing wrong with that. Just fucking t talk to them, tell them. Like I I don't I feel like these line out the needs that you think aren't being met. Don't just blanket and say my emotional needs aren't being met. Like be specific, because sometimes if you just blanket that, they'll be like, well, what do you mean? And then if you can't yeah. give them articulate it, if you can't articulate what what that means, then that, that conversation is going to go down the fucking toilet really quickly and you don't want that. So, so ultimately what you're saying is they're going to need to communicate with you. Yes, ma'am, they do. Yes, ma'am. So we're ticking that one off. You get it together. Number, the first one. So I'm going to go through each point. Yeah. Yes, you've been together for seven years and it's not great, but it's not shit either. That's a really, like, interesting sentence for me. Because well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, in my mind, well, what's, like, what's what's the good and what's you, the shit? Are you butting in? To yeah, me I'm now, bitch? In. Oh my god. Yeah, funny that. So, that tells, like, for me, there are so many people on this planet who you choose 
you be ex like you want to be excited about it like yeah that's my person like we've I'm I'm excited to be in this relationship and and we've got a great relationship or whatever that tells me that this person's like yeah it's not that bad like I'll stick around because you should still be getting excited when your other half comes home from work yeah like the other day I was Why? putting on lipstick after uh, just as I was finishing work and a colleague was like what are you doing and I was like why well, I'm meeting Joel at the shops to do grocery shopping like I want to like look nice but and they were like what? And I'm like, yeah, I want to, like, I'm excited, like, I haven't seen him all day, like, I'm excited to, to see him, and, like, I just wanted to fix myself up and, like, make sure That's I what I'm free. saying. Like, you want, that's what you want You want to be do. excited that they're home, or they've come through the door, or... Yeah, so, also the point of, like, think maybe the bad times are outweighing the good, that's not great either. Like, no. if you, if you have given it a crack to try and, like, work on things, and it's not working and it, it does feel like a lot of the time that that those bad times really are worse than just like I personally would just walk away from it just because you've been together for seven years doesn't mean you need to stay together it's not I think some people stick around sometimes because it's like oh but we've been together forever that doesn't fuck like unfortunately no. the, the duration you shouldn't be basing it on the duration of time no. because you could break up with that person for, that you've been with for seven years and then a year later get into a situation ship with some chick for six months and you guys end that and you'd be more heartbroken about that than the fucking seven year relationship and the thing is like as we grow older we are ever evolving and changing and growing and, you, and growing and so you 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 change as you go along the way and if you aren't in it as a part, if your partner's not in that change with you and want to still be as it used to be, it just it doesn't work. And sometimes it is the fact that you just, instead of growing together, you grow individually and you guys and just aren't compatible anymore. Her. Seven years is a long time. Joel and I have been together for eight years this year. And I can tell you right now, the people that we were when we very first met are not the people that no. we are today. No. We're so different. Oh, me and Big Daddy Dave are... Hundred percent. What are we? Twenty something. Twenty something years. But the kids thing. I get the biological clock aspect. I'm not sure how old these people are, but if you're not like, I feel like if you guys can't align on some of those big things like having kids or, you know, wanting to buy a house or not or wanting to travel or wanting to whatever, that's like a fucking red flag. Because that those things but that having deal a child, having some a, people. Yeah, but having a child doesn't fix a relationship. It also either. doesn't. Don't ever fucking think mm. that. It just it actually highlights all the things wrong in your relationship even more if you fucking have a kid to fix it. And let's have another one. And, just and then going. it just keeps going. And then before you know it, you're you've got three kids and you fucking hate each other and you're in debt and you just one's you paying child support, the yeah. other one's like <laughs> like. And then no. this visitation, it's just a whole thing. It's just sad, really. And who you choose, again, just don't just be having a baby with anyone. Like, you've got to I still feel like that happened. Like, I, okay. You go. So. Say what you're going to say. When I fell pregnant with Jasmine, Jasmine was an accident. Very Okay, accident. now, I fell pregnant back in the 90s. We are in, like, 2023, and I still feel like there's lots of accidents happening. I just like, I can't, I don't, what I don't understand is how does that happen these days because I, I, I don't understand it. Yeah. I really, I don't. And there's so much like sex and shit is all the very The sex education open. is very different. Yes, but it's all yeah. open and transparent in high schools and mm. all this and yet we still have Accident. accidents. I think... I'm not even thinking about that younger generation. Maybe. I don't, anyway, that's, I don't know. what I find interesting is that I think some people forget. Like, okay, if you get married to someone and then you are like, you know what, this isn't working, you can fucking divorce them and never, ever, ever have to see them again. If you have a baby with that person, yeah. you are connected to them for Whatever. the rest of your life. Yeah. Like, this is you don't like don't yeah. just have a baby just because they want to have a baby or have a baby because you think it's going to fix it or like whatever you you if you can't work together before the baby arrives do you think you're going to be able to parent mm. a child like mm. and, and and raise an entire human being you're responsible mm. for mm. if you can't communicate mm. already mm. stupid mm. Yeah, um, yeah yeah what was the other point 
don't know. <clears throat> yeah, they've been together so long. Oh, the proposal part. Why? Why are you were thinking of marriage? <laughs> there is like, also a part of me that thinks after this long, why don't I want to propose to her? Because you're not supposed to be together. You need to break up. You need to fucking break up. I don't even know why children and marriage are coming into your head anyway. Like seriously, if you shouldn't even be even close to talking about that. You need to break up. When you say that, oh, it's been good and it's bad. Just good? So you're happy to settle for just good. That's what I mean. Like, why are we settling? Like, are you, don't, don't be afraid to be alone. Like, don't, oh, well, but you know, there are some people that can't be alone. Like some people that don't know what it's like. Don't, it's don't know themselves as being alone or don't know who they are alone. Well, which that's sad too. That is sad. But I don't know. I just like, why don't I want to propose to her? Um, because you don't fucking, like she is not your person. You might love her, but you might probably have not love for in, her. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you might love her, but you're not in love. You're not that in love. She's will not die your person, for you. Though. Like, she's not your person. No. No, it wasn't my I don't know you, but I just feel like she's not your person. And this is based on what you've given us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think so. But, you know, each of their own. If you feel like you can work through it and work through all the the bad to come to good to then go to great, do it. Mm. But if you're not, <clears throat> do do something about that as well. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Like, I'm all for try and work it out and whatever, but I feel like... I don't know, after seven years, if this is how you're feeling. It's the seven year itch. They all talk about it in marriage. They do, but you know what? It's such an old wives' tale. Is it? Because, like, I was panicking, right? Because what I didn't realize, <laughs> what I didn't realize at the time oh. when Joel and I picked our, like, wedding date, yeah. was that our very first year of marriage was going to be our seventh year together. And I was like, we're fucked. Like, you actually thought that? I was so nervous. And because we have had other friends that have had a seven-year itch, and, like, those couples are fucking solid. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, that, well, if they've got through it, we can do it. Like, like relationships go through peaks and troughs just like our bodies. <laughs> yeah, go. On. Oh, I'm going through, like, a peak at the moment. But, um... <laughs> I'm going through a peak at the moment. <laughs> we go through peaks and troughs, like... No relationship is ever perfect. Mm -mm. Um, no, there are days I might kill Joel. And there's lots of things. No amount of money makes you happy. No. Or your marriage perfect or whatever. It's <clears throat> You're a team. And if you get, as a team, you've got to be on the same page to work together yeah. to conquer that goal. Yeah, 100%. And I don't feel like sh this person's your teammate, babe. So go get a different one. I think he's on opposite teams. Yeah. You're in diff you're in different colours. You need to You're be not a, a new teammate. Yeah. And, and maybe if she, like, this is one side. Uh, one side. Maybe she's feeling the same. And maybe, and maybe you just don't know. You are probably feeling exactly the same. Yeah. Because she's aren't communicating, you are probably both wanting to end the relationship and or not, don't know how to do that. And because you're not talking, you are being miserable together. You know what would be funny, though, if she's like, Oh my god, but we're like he's feeling the same in the sense of like, but we've been together for so long. Oh, no. Like I, I think the time aspect people really hold on to like, but we've been together for X, Y, Z years. Babe, that doesn't mean shit. I'm no. sorry, it doesn't. Anyway, but, anyway, hopefully that helped. I don't know if it did or not. I'm team breakup, but anyway. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the same. Yeah. Talk about it first, of course. Mm. Where can they find us, Cal? <laughs> I got him first. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you know we're on Instagram, so it's what's the jam with two M's. On that Instagram, <clears throat> please follow us and I'm get your it. friends to follow us. Like, yeah. spread the love. Yeah. Also, on that um, Instagram page is our link tree. So, on the link tree, you'll find all our little tidbits mm -hmm. where you can give us your shit shows. And we need your shit shows, or else we can't do this shit show. Literally. This Literally. Is a shit literally. Show. So send them on in. You can then listen to us on Apple Podcasts. Leave a review. You can get us on Spotify. Like us on that. You can also get us and look at us on YouTube. Yeah. 
So subscribe to that so yeah. you can actually see all of this. We're looking and beautiful today. I'm, I was a little slightly hungover this morning and As putting makeup per on. Per usual, she was drunk. And I actually have a light buzz on. A light buzz? Like, no, I've already got the hiccups. Great. But, okay. like, last night, like, I came home and I was like, I'm drunk, but I'm not, like, shit -faced. Guys, right, we dog sat you know? my green <laughs> fur baby. He was asleep next to Big Daddy Dave on the floor mm. on his bed. Big Daddy Dave out to it. All I hear is, Archie! <laughs> and then they go up the stairs. And then I heard the conk, conk, conk. I'm like, oh my God, on. someone take their <laughs> shoes off, please. Yeah, Joel took them off. I was like, take them off. So, yes, that's where you can get us. <laughs> yeah. I digress. That's where you can get us. Get onto it. Share it. Love it. Yeah. Also. Fabulous. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. We hope you guys have a great week. Have a fantastic Thanks for listening. Week. We're coming into winter. I'm fucking cold all the time. <sighs> Not but yeah, have a great week and we'll see you next week. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.